Well, you can definitely hear the grasshoppers. So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time zone you're in. We're on part four of Outer Wilds Walkthrough. Before we get started, let's just chill out to the music. I just want to start this off right. Man, that's music's fantastic. The music's fantastic. I love the opening music. This is how you do it. You do something simplistic visuals like this. You, you do something as a campfire. A simplistic title with basically... It shows a planet in the O and there's actual like a tree, like a forest tree that you've seen it while you're camping with the eye. Its title is pretty freaking clever and I love it. The opening menu music. Outer Wilds is won me over since the beginning, since part one. So, now let's get started. Okay, so yeah guys, I have actually, and yes, I have actually seen the Xbox Partners Preview, or I guess we could call it the Xbox Partners Showcase. That was, uh, I, I guess, hours ago. Definitely hours ago. I am not going to do a separate video to address it like I've been doing, like, game trailers, like, oh my gosh, I have to talk about it. There was nothing, like, super special about the Xbox Partners preview. It was better than the Nintendo Switch showcase they did in February. But this one was like, oh, okay, well, there's Xbox, and they're making a few new IPs, and but we're not going to really focus on that. We're going to focus on Outer Wilds, but I will do it real fast of the game's trailers that got me hyped for them even though they might suck these are the games that got me so hyped i'm not gonna go into detail about them i'm just gonna go over the list and then we're gonna get started okay so the trailers that actually got me sold on them persona 3 reload expansion pass which is basically oh gosh i'm doing it well it's the fes or the expansion that they did for the original persona 3 they're just make it with the Persona 3 Relo art style. Great idea. And then they're giving us extra cool stuff from the previous, or I guess Persona 4 and 5. Moving on. Frostpunk 2, because I'm a fan of Frostpunk. Moving on. Uh, the Verse Berserker Kazan. Sounds like. I'm in. Anyway, Tales of Kinzira Zhao. Or is it Tales of Kinzira Zhao? You know, I heard it in the trailer. I know why I'm hyped for that one. It might suck, but I'm hyped for that one. All right, now let's get started. Good. I kept that, like, uh, under a minute. As much as I wanted to kind of go into detail about it, I don't think it's worth acknowledging. If you've seen the Xbox Partners preview, then you can give your opinion. Or you can leave a like, comment, or subscribe. But you can leave a comment about the Xbox Partners preview, what game trailer actually just got you all hyped, or what did you think about it? Anyway, on this one, 
we can finally devote today to focus on Outer Wilds. That is the mission. And I am going to use IGN Walkthrough because we need to get this game done. Because March 19 will be upon us pretty soon. And I hope you guys enjoy the Chia Walkthrough or the Chia review I did yesterday. I thought I was going to do Outer Wilds yesterday. But I got tired. And I wanted to focus on Chia just doing the review in that last video. So I kind of was in that Chia mood. If that makes sense. I'm making that meme. That's a meme of 2024. So, this time, today is going to be focusing on Outer Wilds, because Chia is, like, I closed the book, Chia is done. As much as I love Chia, the book is closed, I gave my 10, 10 out of 10 review, I did everything I could on Chia, there's still a few things, but I'm not going to do any more Chia content, we're done with that. But you can leave a like, comment, or subscribe, what did you think about the new review editing that I do? I'm doing a new review format for when I officially finish a game and I'm going to I'm going to do that going forward and I like that format I think it's completely different instead of just kind of looking at an opening screen or just seeing a single screen kind of like right now and me just monologuing I think that would check people out and I'm trying to do something different and plus it keeps me entertained too when I look back at it I'm just trying something different anyway time to wake up Use an IGN walkthrough to actually get through this game efficiently, and we're done. Well, I have half a mind to roast some marshmallows. Hey, you don't mind me just joining you and roasting some marshmallows, right? Yeah. Mmm, that's a good marshmallow. That's right. Mmm, that's good. That's a good marshmallow. Look at that detail in the PS5. Mmm. Hey bro, you don't mind if I just basically put this marshmallow right in there, right? Cool. Just wanted to establish that. Hey, just gonna do that. And he did some more. Yeah, this is the real time loop, basically, eating marshmallows for... I mean, when he resorts... When he basically goes back in time, or restarts the time loop, he basically doesn't have a full stomach. He... He has to eat the marshmallow again! Because he technically didn't eat the marshmallow, because he technically died! I love that. I'll toss it. I'm wasting that good marshmallow. Don't get mad at me, bro. Let's talk. Yeah, I very much care about safety when basically I died from floating into space, killed by a planet, restarted time, tied three times. Alright, launch goes uh, activate! Just want to make sure I'm also recording. Now, this time, I am taking my time. But I'm also going to do, like, an innocence of speedrun. But I am taking my time, because, you know, I am basically an adventurer. I think it says it on my YouTube channel? My YouTube channel better? Like, uh, Gamer, Survivor, and Stay Tuned? I have to actually look at my own gear. How about that? Okay, so according to the IGN walkthrough, which I use for all the games I'm trying to speedrun or just trying to get done, I need to go to the Adler Rock, which we'll find out where that is. Time to buckle up, because we're about to lift off! Yeah! Bye, you useless plant! Okay. So where... Okay. As long as I avoid... Okay, now we need to find the Atler and not crash into anything. Where the heck is it? Let's just pause for effect. Ah, okay. It's a small asteroid. 
A small asteroid orbiting uh, Timber Head. Oh, okay. Hey, there it is. I think I found it. If I can just... There it is. I just gotta lock into it. Alright, how do I... Let's buy timber. Oh, that's the sun. That's the sun. That's the sun. That's the sun. Orbiting right into the sun. Ah, okay. Not into the sun. Not into the sun. No. Not into the sun. Not into the sun. What the actual crap? Oh crap, I actually flew into the sun! Like Icarus! In a literal sense! I was literally absorbed into the sun's orbit and crashed into the sun! I literally did the pretty much I proved Dr. Octavia's point of like, I have the palm of the the palm of the sun in my hand. Literally, it was in, I was in the palm of the sun. If I get that Spider-Man 2 reference, good. I wanted to do that, but seriously, how? I was even near the bloody thing, and then I went into the sun. Feel the power of the sun, as Crispin and Freeman said in God of War 3, but yo. I was in the, the sun. How the heck does that happen? Okay. Well, it was, already, it was already like 10 minutes and I already died. Already died. Time to go to this freaking asteroid. Okay, that's pretty huddle. Oops. Let's find... Okay, there was an asteroid, and try to avoid the sun! For Pete's sake, how the heck did that happen? Wait, is that it? There it is! Engage an autopilot, and not crash it into the sun, please! Ugh, okay. Autopilot complete. Engage in lab mode. I feel like I'm getting farther away from it. As long as I don't go into the sun. Engage in autopilot! Preparing descent! And not crashing! Why am I... Okay, I just gotta carefully land... Dead. Well, we're on there. <sighs> well, it technically counts. Okay, time to repair this. Awesome. Okay, so according to that, we need to go to the South Pole of the Outer Rock. Okay, that seems. Legit. I need a flashlight. There we go. Because we're supposed to find an eye signal locator. As well as an underground area hiding secrets. Okay. Well, my O2 is pretty good, so... We just need to find it. At least there's no falling things. Wait. Maybe there's something there. There's a flag. Okay. Then maybe over there. Ah, space. Where no one hears you and auto-intensifies to go nearby. Cool. 
Okay, this must be it. Tree detected. Oxygen take refilled? Hey, there's somebody whistling. Hey. What the? I come in peace. Why are you whistling, bro? Hi. Uh, hello? Okay, well, I might as well talk to you. You are the only civilization I've seen in space. Why are you so chill just kind of gravitating on this asteroid? Okay. Do other travelers come by? Oh, wait, that's why I just asked. We are near the sun. Uh, they forget about you? Man, you're, you're just kind of rocking in little floating... Uh, uh, you're near a... Uh, you're on an asteroid! Yeah, I imagine this is as quiet as it gets. How are you able to breathe without your spacesuit? Okay. Okay, so no scope. Narpo, great reception. Of oh, this, got it. On your mini map. Ah, okay. Why are you saying don't go? Well, yeah, I don't know what this is. Okay, lunar outpost, got it. Roll credits! Anyway. This is such a calming space. I'll talk to you later, uh, probably lonely man. Okay. Uh, I identify signals nearby. Oh, okay, so wait. Yeah, we already know that signal. Okay, so we have to go south. That's what the walkthrough is saying. There's an eye signal. Strange advice. Underground area hiding signals. Or hiding secrets. What am I saying? Alright, we'll see you, Esker. I hope we'll see you in the next time, Luke. There's the sun again. I'd rather avoid the sun. Hey, what's that? Yeah, actually, I did not know what this is. This has been here the entire time. What is this? Hmm, interesting beat. Hope I don't go into the void of space. Ah, space, where no one will hear you, where you hear no noise. You know, I just saw gravity, too. Oh, oh hold on. Alright, I'm looking for something on the south, and hopefully... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah, frickin' space. I'm looking, 
where are you? And according to the walkthrough. I think I found it. Can I rotate? Ah, that's better. Okay. Just gotta find where I'm going. Ow! Ah, gravitational pull! Ow! A banjo? Uh. Ah, frickin' gravitational pull. I know Isaac Newton is laughing. Okay, um, maybe this way? Confound it, gravitational pull. Have I found the South Pole yet? I don't think I have. Wait, I think I found it. Okay, yeah, this is definitely it. Okay, so according to the walkthrough, strange advice, as well as a underground area hiding secrets. Okay, lap. Well, I guess this is what I'm looking for. Yep, this is definitely what I'm looking for. What the heck is this thing? Let's put this away. Okay, so on the surface, you'll see a large platform. There it is! So what are we supposed to do with this? Four separate compartments. Okay. Well, I'm running out of O2, so I probably should hair this up. Let's look at this. Well, what the actual heck? Okay. That's something. Let's see where this goes. Oh, well, thank you for reminding me of my independent dip. Oh! My oxygen tank's been refilled. By the near trees! Man, that's useful. Well, anyway. Okay, so now... Okay, so we had to approach the text. Pick up the scroll. This seems important. Huh? Time to translate. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this Isaac no locator is. That's interesting. What does this mean? Okay, that's good to know. I was upstairs testing the iSignal locator, which we... Okay, so that's the iSignal locator we're using. And it can hear and follow the signals from the sun's... The sun, Giant's Deep, and Brittle Hollow, which I clearly been in the sun and died. Let's explore a little bit more. I think that's where it was before. Yep. 
That's so cool, the translator and all that, and learning about the language and all that. Okay, well, I gotta pause for a brief second because there's a time limit. Wait a minute. I think the signal was giving us a clue. Let me look at this, actually. Signals for the sun, giant's deep, and brittle hollow. Okay, so that's kind of like a hint. Signal. Wait a minute. This is nothing new, too. Um, okay. I think it says, Ananano. Anano. And those of us originally stranded on Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there. But the heat of the sun made it, well, okay, made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. Ember Twin? What's wrong with it? Interesting. I think that's a hit of we're going to Ember Twin. Okay. There's a... Alright, so at the North Pole, we're on the South Pole, so we can leave out of here. And I don't think enough time has passed. Maybe we can actually go. So we're on the South, according to the map. And this is real time, so I can't really take my time on this one. So we're on the South Pole, then I, I guess we had to go for it? That, I think that's what it's saying. Okay, so we're looking for a lunar lookout. I wonder what... Wait, is that Timber... Yep, that's Timber. Timber Herf? Okay, so now we have to look for a lunar lookout. And then we should be pretty much nearby. I think I found it. Oh, that's freaking cool. Okay, so what's the deal with this one? That tree is useful. Okay, series of platforms. Oh, kit. He said the reception was good, so... Man, I wish I could roast some marshmallow in space. So I guess I keep going forward. Okay, so there's a platform of the whole solar system. Okay. Well, that's what it's used for. I keep forgetting we're close to the sun. Uh, I'm just gonna retreat that. I think we're supposed to be nearby. Space! Where nightmare fuel is a plenty. Huh, I just ended up back here again. I feel like there should be a map. It's odd. I feel like there should be a map somewhere. Very much aware of how much fuel. Thank you, Space Control. Or I guess my suit is telling me that, obviously. Did I miss it? I feel like I missed it. Okay, well, let's just go over here. No, that's just over there. I think I found it. Yep, I did find it. There it is. Man, it took a while, too. 
Okay, so there is the lunar. And... Geronimo! Oh, oh! Too much! Ah. Made it! Ah. Ah, gravity. What's this? Okay, his, uh, sentinel-scope log. Eskers. Day 48. Still not picking up, uh, Rybex Banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I feel better once I hear that. Or, Maristic. Okay. Day 51. Listen to Shirt play for a while now. Or, sorry, for a while today. I'm really it. Someone should tell, uh, Porphy and... You know what? I'm gonna get closer. And goes on. Their flirty is not subtle from a aerial perspective. I bet not. Day 55. Banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Rimbeck... Rybeck. It's doing okay. That elf, I was worried. Day 63. Today I thought I heard something. Strange. I don't know. It's probably nothing. Day 70. No, it's back again today. Two. Something strange is coming from Timber Herf. Wait, what's coming strange? Okay, day 76. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timber Herf sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonic. But Feldspar disappeared in spaces ages ago. Can't be them. Day 88. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken? I better talk to Jimis. That's interesting. The more I learn about this game, man, this story is solid. Is it a better story than Chia? Yeah, absolutely. It, it takes its time to explain its lore. Not saying that Chia's story was bad. It just, I mean, it doesn't hold a candle to Outer Wilds. It feels like the story breadcrumbs are something that you are meant to discover. And plus, it helps that it's open world, so the more you explore the world, the more you get to kind of, ex well, the more you get to know about the planet, in a sense. How much time we've done? 32 minutes, and I've been pretty freaking, yeah. Okay, I think... In terms of this planet, just for now at least, according to the walkthrough, we did everything we can. I feel like time's gonna run out by the time we get to Brittle Hollow, but that is kind of our next thing. Ah, that creepy place again. No light, Brittle Hollow. Plus, I think I died there last. Okay, is there anything going on? Like, sun? That was easy. Uh, time to find my ship. Feels like the sun is definitely getting closer. I'm running out of time. Ah! Gravity! 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 Gah! Ah! Perfect. Okay. Time to view my ship log. Briefly. Ah, cool. The more that we explore the planets, the more we kind of get a sense of what's going on. Okay, the one and only Hithorian, or Hithorian village, as well as the main source of explosion on this planet. Okay. You know what? I'm going to read the entries when I have a better sense of what's going on. We're, we're kind of on the time limit, so I kind of had to move on. Ah. Fresh air. Sweet, sweet fresh air. Time to go. Wait, nope. Is the sun right there? Ugh, freaking sun. Okay, where is Brittle Hollow? Giant's Deep. That was part of that clue, too. Dark Bramble. Interesting. Avoid the sun. Avoid the sod! Oh gosh. Anyway. That seems dark. What's that? What's that over there? Hmm. Where is Brittle Hollow?
Okay, there's an ember. The sun seems like it's getting closer to timber. I think I'm about to run out of time. Oh, crap. Yep, the music's playing. Ah, shoot. I ran out of time. And there's Brittle Hollow right next to the freaking planet. Ah! Yep, that music means that I'm screwed. I ran out of time. Well, I had knowledge. Not saying that I didn't gain any knowledge from this time loop, but still. Oh. That music's so effective to let you know that you're pretty screwed. Time waits for no one. Like, you are utterly screwed. I just made it to Brittle Hollow. As soon as I learn one mystery, I'm just like, nah, bro, you're not gonna learn the mystery of the galaxy. You're gonna freaking die. And that's exactly what's going to happen, because of literal death. The sun is death. Okay, engage in autopilot, at least we can try to make it. Now, the sun is imploding. The sun is imploding, and it is going into a, like, supernova. I don't know what the, the technical sense is. Oh, yep. The sun imploded. Okay, so what's causing the sun to implode? All I know is, it's turned into a giant blue spear that's coming right at me. Brilliant Hollow is good. I can't deny the view. We are screwed. We are absolutely screwed. Screwed. Screwed is... Yep. Yeah, I definitely learned a lot. <sighs> well, that happened. Yeah, <sighs> well, as we I guess fly into my impending death again as the sun implodes again. I guess I'll eat some marshmallows, because marshmallow mix is good for the soul. Sorry, I like to get it all squishy. Don't judge me, bro. Alright, now to go to Brittle Hollow. According to the walkthrough. I love its graphics, too. It's not the best-looking graphics, but for an indie developer, I freaking like it. Okay, so here's the map. Now I got a game plan. Alright, we went to Avatar Rock, but according to IGN Walkthrough, we're gonna be going back. Then there's the Hourglass Twins, the Hollow... Okay, the Hollow's Lantern. Can I zoom in? I guess that flashlight helps, too. But oh, Hollow. Okay, enough time. Well, enough talk. We actually have to rush. Lift off! For again. All right, Brittle Hollow, where are you? <laughs> Wait, am I flying into the sun again? <sighs> okay. What's that over there? What? No, we already been there. Okay. Just don't fly into the sun again. Ash Twin, Ember Twin. Which will be important because one of the riddles didn't mention that. Where are you? What? What? Why did I do that? Alright. What the actual... Mm. <sighs> well, space travel, am I right? Don't fly into the sun! Sorry, I'm a little paranoid after that last time. Oh. Okay. Wait, what's that? Brittle Hollow! Engage an autopilot! I 
I can't see anything. We can't see. That's your philosophy. Why am I getting <sighs> gauge an autopilot? Did I land yet? That's a philosophy! Oh wow, perfect landing! What do you know? Oh crap! Well how about that? Huh. Well that worked out. I just crashed and burned. I got lucky on that one. Okay, so now... For this one, we have to find the actual black hole. Oh, right, that's a thing. That is a thing. Okay, so black hole. Black hole. Massive black hole swallowing pieces of... Okay. Oh, okay. So the black hole will take us to the white hole. Okay, so... Center of the planet underground. That's how we're going to find somebody. Okay, the land... Or, okay, at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. That's where we need to go. Where the heck is this tower? Okay, so we need to get to a tower. How close did I land? I am guessing that's the tower. Seems legit. Okay, just gonna get close to that tower, and we're going, baby. Huh. So that's the tower, huh? That was easy. Huh. Thank God for spaceships, am I right? Can I? I'm guessing that's the tower, indeed. Ah! Wish I could double jump. Come on. I guess we're getting there uh, the old fashioned way. I had a jetpack this entire time. It kind of pisses me off. What is this thing? Seems like that's the... Oh, hello! Is everyone unharmed? Page text. No one... No one was badly injured from the escape pod impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news. At least, have we heard from escape pod 2 or 3? No, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods to Shrek signals. However, if there's any comfort, or if it's any comfort, both pots must be strunk, are structurally intact. I'll continue con 
Well, okay, I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude, if we can... Attach, the moon is approaching again. Everyone, brace yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be, won't be gone for long. I observed several. Okay, I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we can build platforms. Interesting. Jetpack activate. Ow! Made it. Is this the tower? Launching escape pod 3. Launching escape pod 2 and now launching escape pod 1. Huh. Can we open this? Emergency escape hatch. Good to know. What is this place? Some cryospace or something, or...? Hmm? Oh! 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 Oh no! What? What happened? Oh no! That's the black hole that I was trying to avoid the entire time! Oh! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! I'm in space! Fudge! I'm in space! Okay! Okay, black hole. Oh shoot! That actually shot me into outer space! I mean, that was terrifying, but... No, that was just terrifying in general. Well, good that I have enough oxygen, otherwise I have a gravity situation. Sandra Bullock knows what I'm talking about. How the heck did I end up all the way over here? That's terrifying. I, I, I don't know how that happened. Oh, oh, okay, well... Jeez! I was like, oh no, I'm heading to the black hole that I was trying to avoid the entire time! Oh, shit! I don't know how that... Oh, crap, I gotta roll! Gotta roll! Shoot! Come on, bro! We're... I better not be flying to the sun. I better not be flying to the sun. Oh, this freaking sucks. How am I supposed to... Ah! Freaking space! Should we give up? Ah... Space, where nobody can actually help you. I am flying to the sun. All right, we're gonna have to quit. I know this will reset the loop, but kind of had no choice. That was crazy. That black hole literally took me to the boy in space. Like, ha ha, you're in space, and I was like, oh shit, I'm in space. That was terrifying, but cool. Terrifying. Terrifying. I, I I do not envy astronauts if they ever get to that point. Ooh, ooh, that's a terrifying thought. All 
All right. Now that I conquered my fear of floating into space, time to actually go into space. What the outer wilds? I, I actually went into freaking space. What? No, I was actually floating around at the edge of space. Terrifying, but cool. Absolutely terrifying. I'm ready this time. Okay, so we're trying to get very close to the tower, the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Once we get there, then we'll actually get some progress. And there's some other stuff we need to check out, too. Oh my gosh, there's so much to do in Brittle Hollow. This will keep me pretty freaking busy. Oh, wow. That is going to keep me busy. Unbelievably busy. It's just going to take a while to even get to the tower and just to find everything. Okay. That will definitely take the time. Okay, that must be the tower. I think I see it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I found it. That's gotta be it. That's absolutely gotta be it. Well, it's better than nothing. Right? This is the tower, right? It can't be... No, it can't be a coincidence. Alright, time to get the suit. Pre-flight checklist. Awesome. Well, it doesn't look like my ship has to be repaired. I learned how to do the jet boost that is very useful in this situation. All right, you have to be the quantum. Everything works so well with the jetpack. How do we get in? How do we get in this bloody thing? Huh? Hey, what's that? Ow! Wait, th there's something there. Found it. Huh? What's this? Oh, of course it's broken. Okay. Yeah, of course the door is broken. Then it's gotta be nearby. There's gotta be another entrance. I'm determined. I already pretty much reset a time loop. Oh no, 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 not the black hole! No, not the black hole! No! Son of a god! Son of a god! Son of a god! This happened again, didn't it? Well, this happened.
I hope no one's dizzy. Ah. Okay, maybe I can actually make it. Yes, I'm very much aware that 50% of my fuel is pretty much remaining. Ah, oh, that's so pissed me off. Oh. I wonder what's with that speeding asteroid. I feel like that's going to be important. Well, I guess we'll come back to it eventually. Ah, space. Where no one will actually visit. Oh, who am I kidding? I couldn't think of anything clever on that one. 56 minutes and it's been a treat. I went into the black hole twice. Terrifying, but kind of like oddly calming. Terrifying, though. But I like coming. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for telling my fuel level is critical. Wait, what? What happens if my what happens if my fuel level stops? If I could just be floating in the vacuum of space with no way to get off? Oh shoot! I didn't think about that. If I feel just kind of like you know. Oh my gosh, my oxygen is using as a propellant and depleting. I am gonna suffocate in space. I am gonna suffocate in space! Oh, that's actually terrifying! And... Uh-oh, my character's... choking in space. Wow. Space is a harsh lesson indeed. It's not my fault! I went into a black hole and I literally did a gravity situation! I'm talking about that Sandra Bullock, George Clooney one. I was screwed from the time I jumped into that black hole. Oh, that's terrifying. Well, at least I have marshmallows to comfort me. I, I literally flew into space, in the point of space, and choked! I literally froze to death in the vacuum of space! What the actual outer wild? It was cool, but no, it wasn't cold. That was terrifying. Okay, well, we'll be back after this short commercial break.